Hi everyone, I wanted to show you that you can use regular play-doh to create moulds for prosthetics so I've just got this regular tub of play-doh just from a place called the Early Learning Centre in the UK and it costs a pound and as you can see it's just regular children's play-doh and it looks like that and it's normal regular play-doh and this will last you for absolutely ages as long as you keep it wrapped up it stays all nice and soft um, it does dry out if it's left out um, you know out, out of the tub um, but obviously if you wanted to reuse the mould you could always leave it to dry out a bit but it tends to get a bit crumbly so this is good for using moulds that you can re making moulds that you can recycle so first of all I'm going to roll it up take just the end of any any old brush you've got and just draw in whatever design you want to create so let's say I wanted to create just like a piece that's going to stick up on my face Okay, so I've just created a shape like that and then what I'm going to do is pour in some latex and I'm going to make sure I get it in all the little nooks and crannies first so I don't get any gaps Then I'm going to put more, more latex in. And once you've left the dough to dry overnight, or um, in my case I left them a couple of days, just keep them out of sunlight because sunlight damages the latex. And then all you do is you peel off the dough to reveal the little latex mould you made. This one's a very thin mould of my fingertip so if I wanted to create a false fingertip I could add that and then peel it off for an effect um, that one worked okay and then this one which I'm just going to dust first before I take it out of the mould <coughs> The other one I'd already dusted, but if you dust these before you take them out of the mould, it stops them sticking together. And then, can very gently peel the latex off, and then. clean out any play-doh that's in the middle so that could be um, some sort of deformity in the skin or whatever and once you've left the play-doh for a couple of days it goes sort of crusty and firm on the top like a feels like a sort of really firm rubber so it does hold the shape quite well um, but that's it that's how to use play-doh to create molds for special effects hope you enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to thumbs up comment and subscribe